Hello, um, welcome to another one of my little reviews of, you know, Digimon toys. Now, these are kind of the, one of the neater ones that they came out. And this, these were only put out in Japan, and I went on to Amazon and was able to get them. Um, excuse me, I, I don't remember this guy's name, so it's kind of like, oops. But it's like Dor Mon or something, you know, he's some kind of a drill digi- It's kind of like a Mon that has drills on him. Anyway, um, these these three um, I was able to get in a set. Hold on, let me get some better light here, or reduce the excess light, I guess. All right, there it is. That's a little bit better. Well, these are the um, I forgot what I don't know what these are called because I don't read Japanese. Anyway, these are the um, these Digimon toys are very neat in the one little factor of they're simple they're they're cheaply made um I, I gotta give you but they're they're done in such a way i don't mind where they cut they cut things like shoutmon here can't um can't hold that uh microphone unlike his bigger version these are the smaller version and they do combined so uh, here's the Yustamon, Shoutmon, Starmon, Pikmon or something. It's like Pekmon or Pikmon. I think it's Pikmon like a guitar pick or something. You know, going with the theme. And Dor Drillora, Drodora, something. It's basically a drill a drill toting guru mon. Now, these are not what you'd get if you buy them. I mean I got them on Amazon for like thirty five and that also included um the metal, the metal Greymon combination, combination one. So, you know, these are from Cross Wars, and these are just really neat. They're they've done really well. The Eastamon is just beautiful. Uh, this guy, he looks pretty dumb. I, I mean, he does. You can tell what he's part of. But overall, I, I like them as combined. They're they're really made to be combined. Um, first thing I did is I painted these up a little bit on certain areas like I left the eyes alone usually but a lot of the details and stuff I painted on myself because well they didn't have it and that's one of the downsides that these didn't have a lot of the, the color applications I didn't mess with the Starmon and Pekmons so anyway they combined together to form you know they can go to Shoutmon cross three and cross Four and cross two with just shout one here. Because all you do is shout. Alright, let's. I'll move these things out of the way to show you. This is like the first transformation. All you really need is shout mon and beast. Uh, beast them on. I'm probably butchering that. Take off beast them on's head. Split them apart. Pull out this little piece here. Now, if you get these, they came with gum and stuff, which the longest time I wasn't sure if it was. I always pop this out just because if I want to change them to cross three and four, I, I kind of need that sticking out. And, you know, you take them apart and you put them back together with the Shotmon inside them. Okay, um, I, I should be able to. Oh, Shotmon. You have to have Shotmon in a perfect position or it doesn't work. So there it is. And then, finish this off, you just plug... There's these little holes here in the chest, and you just plug these them on head with tab, these tabs on the back of his head into here. And that's probably about as good as I'm going to get it right now. And it, I mean, it's close. It, it kind of works. I'm, I'm not going to complain about it. This isn't why people get this, these guys, though. Now, this is why. You convert them to cross three and cross you know, you take the um, microphone with it, and you pull off the back little white part, and it's his head. And you plug it into that little peg on the back of his, on cross two's back, and boom, you have him in, you have that part, and then you just plug um, Beastamon's head onto his shoulder. Assuming you can do it. <laughs> and 
That's and that's all you have to do for now. Then with this guy, you first take off his head. Assuming you can take his head off. See? Comes right off. And you plug it into the shoulder. And I normally leave this guy in, you know, cross four mode. You know, of course, the only difference between cross three and cross four is one has a sword. And see here's his shoulder has it's in there. It's you still see eyes and stuff. You still see the eyes and all that, but it's all cool. So I'm trying to give you all a shadow so you can see it. See? See it has his eyes. Um, there's that's like cool. And then you take the rest of his body and you just take off his well back end. His gluteus maximus and thighs. His back legs and they become the the legs for you know the the calf or the no, not the calves. Uh, these are the calves right here. Um, this becomes the uh, um, pelvis and thighs. And you plug the feet, these little pegs on the feet, into the back of well, what now is the legs? And you have to split apart the legs. And basically, you just plug them together, and there's a little plug right there. And boom, we got cross three. I mean, that's all. I mean, I always, for every reason, Shotman seems to open up his mouth when I, when I do this. I don't know why. I'm, I'm not going to complain. Okay, I will. I will completely complain all the time. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, um, and as you can see, that's, that's all it took was just, you know, putting those two together, and it's, it's a decent representation of it. I mean, I think it actually looks better than the other, um, than the big one, just because this one's made to work this way. And, I mean, you get Starmon. Starmon you get for this one is that. Yeah, he fell over. But, you have this Starmon. Oh, I forgot to move up these legs to this position. Dang it. Got a little kind of stuff there, but whatever. Now... This Starmon looks... I mean, he's Starmon. And when you plug him into the microphone... I think it looks kind of cool. He doesn't have that big gaping hole in the head. And you have the Pekmon in sets of four. And I plug those in. And voila, I have the... I have the Star Sword. Now, it's not quite the correct one for cross four. There's one little difference. There needs to be another four Pekmon. But, as things are, I have to take off the bottom of it to plug it in. Plug it in and slip it through B. Saman's hands. And then put it back on to lock it into place. And now this is cross four. Now, if, you, if you're noticing something, um... It, not only have I painted, I also had to do some things to fix the joints. One of them is the joints are, well, they're loose, and the plastic will wear. Like right now, you see this little band. That's actually some sticker paper. I wrapped around the that joint and then plugged and forcefully plugged it back in so it would stick in there. So I don't know what's actually holding it up, but it's tightened up the joint to where I can move it around again. And it does seem to want to come undone, but it's, it holds it in there. Oh, and the star sword doesn't look right. <laughs> but, now, as the, fig as the figure goes, I say cross four is what you want. I mean, the Shoutmon, he only has posability in his arms. Beastamon actually has the most posability out of them, I think, um, next to d the drill, whatever, dude. I, can't, I don't remember his name. I'll have to... I don't know how to pronounce it. I've seen it at multiple times. Um, but, you know, it had some issues with its, um, well, it had some issues with its um, joints kind of getting wore. The hip joints got loose, one of them. So I actually uh, pulled them off, put some box tape around them, and then put them back on to give them a little bit more thickness. And there's, like, different tricks you can do. If you really like um, the Cross Wars series, 
I say, say go get this figure. Um, you'll have to apply stickers and if you want you can paint it, that's what I did. And when it comes to, you know, character, to, you know, accuracy, I think this one is a little bit better to the point of, you know, it's simple. To the point, I mean, the show made it easy for everyone. And, you know, this just proves you don't have to try that hard to make a good toy. You just have to, you know, think the pretty basics. Because the only gimmick this thing came with when you got them was each Digimon set you bought, which is usually one, but Shoutmon, you know, came up with Starmon and Peckmon, Pikmon, or whatever they're called. Um, and, you know, they are, you know, they just came with a little piece of gum, which, you know, I... I didn't know that was gum for sure. <laughs> There's a little funny story where we're wondering if we're all going to die because we decided to try the gum. But anyway, it was, you know, I had a thing like, oh, don't do this, you'll choke to death. Okay. Something, I don't know. Anyway, if y'all guys, if anyone wants to, you know, get their own Digimon collection going, and these are the good ones, this is a good one. I just wish they came out with more of them than just the five that I got. I couldn't find any other ones. Because this one was obviously made to work with more because there's like a port on the back of on his back where uh, Sparrowmon would plug into. <coughs> or someone else. I don't know. I mean I assume it would be Sparrowmon. And you know, just, you know, they needed they needed to put more of these toys out because these were great. Um this was one of the best Digimon seasons in a while. And I really do hope they come up with more. Now I'm starting to run out of time, but I am just want to you know, tell everyone that this is a good figure, and it, it's kind of a project, really. And I paid, you know, like 35 plus shipping. Well, actually, that, or what was that wishing? Whatever. Um, and I bought it off the Amazon. I'm not sure if it's around anymore, but... You know, if y'all can, get pick this thing up, these guys up, because they're worth it. And, you know, they came out to, like, you know, around five bucks each, and they're, they're cheap old figures, but when all together, they're just worth it. They, they, they did a great job of it. Everyone, you know, they just did a great job. I'm gushing on this figure, I guess. And that's the thing, is the, Digi the Bandai needs to realize, you know, we want good Digimon toys. Now the D arts, they're all great. This thing, you know, costs like a cheap is like a around the overall cost of uh, a little cheaper than a you know other D arts figure than the lowest costing one, and I think it's worth it. So if you guys feel like you wanna you know get into Digimon figures and you like Cross Wars, this is a gr this is a great set of toys to get. Um, I'm not a big fan of the, um, you know, Metal Greymon one, per se. I like the Greymon and I like the Bergermon, but the combination just kind of went, meh. So, everyone, I'd say, you know, if you can get this, get it. <laughs>